So Aljamain Sterling defeats Henry Cejudo via split decision, 48-47 on the scorecards. And I was right. I was right. But I was also wrong. Because that fight can damn well go to Henry Cejudo. I will admit that 100%. Like, there were plenty of rounds where you can argue it for either one. I think the only clear round I have for either fighter, I think, is round five for Cejudo. I think round five clearly goes to Cejudo. And I think round one clearly goes to Aljamain Sterling. Other than that, I think rounds two, three, and four are rounds that can be, you know, argued with. You can really convince me that either fighter won that round. But when I was watching that fight live, I had it 2-2 going into the fifth round because I was just so unsure of who won the rounds. And yeah, clearly, Sudo won that fifth round pretty clear. I think it would be criminal. I think some judges on the scorecards did have it for Aljo in the fifth round, which is absolutely criminal. They need to be investigated. It's fixed if that's the case because there's no way in hell you can ever, ever give Aljo that fifth round against Cejudo. It's just impossible. Cejudo was outlanding him. He took him down at one point. It was just a, such a clear round for Cejudo. I can't see any reason you would ever even think about giving it to Aljo. But but yeah, the fight didn't really go the way that I predicted it to. It kind of... Uh, went somewhat of the opposite, you know? Yeah, round one was a more of a on-the-feet fight, you know? I think Sue had a really tough time judging the range of Aljo because his reach advantage was really large in this one. And Aljo was landing really good, you know, body kicks, like I said. He had a good jab, a good right cross, and then eventually he gets Sudo against the cage, and he takes him down from there. And I thought, wow, this is exactly what I predicted. He takes him down, Sudo did a good job defending, and he lands, Aljo lands this, right hand or left hand, I don't remember exactly which hand it was, but this mean, I mean absolutely ferocious hand, literally before the buzzer, doesn't really rock Sudo, doesn't really hurt Sudo at all, but it was just like a, a really hard shot, like you can tell that it like really put some damage on Sudo's face. Round two comes out, now round two was a really complicated round because it was kind of similar to round one, but there wasn't as much grappling exchanges I think Sudo did take Aljo down at one point in round two. I think he tripped him. It might have been round three or four. I don't know. But, you know, Aljo was kind of landing some shots. Sudo was landing some shots. You know, Aljo looked kind of weird sometimes, man. There was, there was times in this fight where I was like, why isn't Aljo clinching against the cage and taking Sudo down? Because that's where he's having most of his success. He just wouldn't do that. He wouldn't ever decide to just take him against the cage and the clinch and take him down because that's where he was doing his best. He just didn't want to do that. And because, I mean, Aljo is, and by a lot, bigger than Cejudo. So when he gets him against the cage, it's very easy for him to be able to drag Cejudo down. But he just stopped going to it, I think, in the fourth and fifth round. It was bizarre to me that he was, you know, losing his game plan. But the second, third, and fourth round were, I mean, so close, so close. I think the strike count, the UFC needs to fix their strike counter guy because they had like a one point Aljo up on strikes in the fifth round. And I was like, there's no possible way, literally zero way that you can ever have any amount of more strikes for Aljo than Cejudo in the fifth round. So they were giving Aljo a, like a lot of strikes. They were saying he was like almost out striking throughout the entire fight. So you know, two to one, like he was like significantly up ahead on strikes, which I don't agree with at all. Their strike counter guy was having a field day today, I guess, picking strikes for Aljo. Yeah. So like right now in the MMA community, there's a big debate on who really won this fight. Some are saying that, you know, pseudo won three to two. Some are saying that Aljo won four to one. Everybody right now is really at a disagreement on who really won this fight. I'm probably going to watch the fight back a couple more times to really see who really won the fight. But yeah, I mean, right now everybody's on, on a disagreement, and uh, I agree. I, I can't really pick and choose who won the fight just yet because I just, it was such a close fight to me. Every round was close. Um, but Aljo won. Aljo won. He's a champ now. Um, they had Sean O'Malley come in afterwards, and they had a big beef. They were talking trash in the middle of the octagon for a solid minute. Sean O'Malley needs to get his trash talk right because he came in with like nothing. You would think he would have a line or something when he walked in the cage, like to say to Aljo, but no, he kind of came in just saying like, "Go look better than that, which to me is just uh, cringe. I don't know. And then after a few moments of inaudible rambling, Amali then goes over to Marab and picks a fight with him. So they have beef now. So there's so many fights to make, I guess now. So I'm like, I fight the whole damn division at this point. 
I don't know. Sean O'Malley does have a really strong chance of beating Aljo. Aljo was shooting a lot of takedowns that were awful. I didn't mention that, but Aljo was shooting a ton of takedowns that were just straight like telegraphed. He was way too far out. And they were just so easily stuffed. Like I could probably stuff those takedowns of Aljo at that point because they were so far away. So I think Sean O'Malley has a great chance of being able to, you know, timing a knee. Because Ciro did land a few knees in, in this fight. He did land a few knees against Aljo. But yeah, I think Amali has a great chance of beating Aljo. I'll wait for that fight to be announced. Aljo said he wants it in September. Yeah, I think that's they're going to agree to that. I think that's probably going to happen in September as well. And so, yeah, um, I don't know. I was right. Thank you.